to inhabit it. So even if the person might put this pumpkin out and carve a, a face on it and whatnot and put a candle in it and think, oh, I'm just kind of being cute like the neighborhood is, you know, it still might very well draw demonic spirits. Originally, they would actually take, you know, some of the leftover remains of the skulls of these children and use them as something to pull out of the water as kind of a, of a macabre game. And, uh, you know, so, you know, again, there's some sort of meaning behind this, which which we do not understand. And this is true of a lot of things. And thing that comes to mind is the whole thing of witches on a broomstick. You see, uh, that actually goes back to the fact that in the Middle Ages, witches... Uh, would would literally take, see, the, the symbol of a high priestess's authority was her broomstick, which was called a besom. And she would, on certain nights of the year, when they were like planting crops or whatever, they would go out and they would jump around the field after they planted the crop on these broomsticks. And they believed that the high as they jumped, that's how high the crops were. So again, we're talking about sympathetic magic, what's called folk magic. And it was believed that, that as they did this, that it would make the ground more fertile and whatnot. And, of course, some people that weren't witches were probably spying to see, ooh, what are these witches doing? And they saw them, you know, jumping around this field. And, oh, they're going to take off and they're going to fly, you know, just like, you know, s some birds take a while to get off the ground. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for President. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for Prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for President! Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. Well, joining me in studio now is journalist and author Jim Mars. Jim, you know, you were on the Alex Jones Show today, and I just had to get you in here for the nightly news. We always enjoy your commentary on what's going on in the world. <laughs> so welcome back. Lots going on in the world. Yeah. Hey, well, good, bad, and indifferent. Yes. And then, you know, same old, same. Nothing new under the sun. So let's just go ahead and look at some of the, uh, some of the hot topics we've got on Infowars.com. Here's one, Putin saying that anthropogenic climate change is a geostrategic weapon. He's saying that globalists, globalists want to undermine Russia's thriving energy sector. Right. Well, you know, first let's look at the term uh, anthropic, okay, which means man-made. That's what it means. What he's saying is, is that these claims that our SUVs and our cars and our, you know, our industries and everything are, are totally wrecking the world. Uh, he's called that into question, as have many other people. Um, but, uh, you know, a, a good portion of that comes down to the controversy over fracking, which is short for hydraulic fractionering, uh, which is where they drill a deep well and then they pump up to 8 million gallons of water under mm -hmm. high pressure down there. But it's not just the water. 
They put in chemicals, right. including heavy metals, arsenic, aluminum, it's fine, lead, it's totally <laughs> Every, fine. everything you don't want, right. okay? Along with, I understand, sometimes they'll put uh, steel ball bearings down there so when they force open cracks in the ground strata, it keeps them open, mm -hmm. okay? Now, there's a lot, big controversy going on about that because they have found that it, it uh, destroys water wells. Right. Okay. It creates earthquakes. Uh, Oklahoma, for example, uh, up until about 1970, only had maybe one earthquake a year. And now they, they're having 30 and 40 in certain areas. And, it's, and they've even done studies and shown that it's due to fracking. Right. Now, the whole rationale for fracking is that uh, peak oil. Well, we're running out of oil, and in our industrial society, we have to have oil uh, to keep going, to progress, and to move into the future. And number one, I'm not even sure that's true, but the idea that we're running out of oil has been disproven right. over and over again. Uh, 2014, 2015, oil production was at levels higher than ever before. But the main thing is, is somebody tries to tell you that we're running out of oil, just tell them, well, go check out the Bakken Rock Formation, B-A-K-K-E-N. That's a huge underground reservoir of petroleum that they've discovered up uh, in North Dakota and Wyoming and into Canada. And the experts have said, and of course they keep this quiet because they want to keep the gasoline prices up. But the experts have said that there's enough untapped petroleum there to last us at increased rates of consumption for more than 2,000 years. Wow. Okay. But, hey, we don't want to do that, do we? No. Because we're choking ourselves to death We'd on We'd rather destroy petroleum. the water supply and, right. and go that's ahead and let everyone know it's completely okay. Like the EPA was telling the residents in St. Louis while I was there that it's okay that the uranium and the radium and the thorium is making its way northwest, you know, because it's moving away from your neighborhood. Meanwhile, the very area it's moving to is where they get their drinking water from. So this is how we're just being told. It's kind of the, the left hand doesn't know what the right is doing. And it's, people are just wising up to, to all of this. So what do you think about the fact that Putin seems to be calling out this administration or the globalist agenda at every turn, um, now even with what's going on in Syria, with, with him moving in, now Obama just announced today that he's going to also be put, sending troops on the ground in Syria to which fight ISIS. Which he promised ISIS, not to do. Which he promised not to do, <laughs> which, course. hey, he's broken every other promise he's what made. What else is so, new? Right. And so what, what, is this going to be like a proxy war with Russia, essentially? Or? Well, it's going to be, we better <laughs> keep close watch on this because the fear is, is that they get over there, they may end up getting a firefight between American troops and Russian troops. Right. Or, or the worst case scenario is uh, if we try to, like, declare our no-fly zones or we're flying our aircraft up there and maybe they, we get hit by an anti-aircraft missile from a Russian plane or vice versa, uh, this could get really sticky. Yeah. But i, I got to hand it to Putin, Okay. Uh, we have tried to say that we went in there trying to uh, save freedom in Syria. And, of course, what we're really trying to do, and, and nobody makes any bones about it, that we're trying to oust their president, right. <laughs> Assad. Okay? And we've they made get, that clear now, 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 he's their problem, okay? And if the Syrian people don't want Assad, then let them overthrow him, okay? But we had to go in there, okay. and we cre we sent all of these arms and Stinger missiles, and we sent all this stuff uh, to these guys that so they could throw out Assad. And what does it turn out? They're ISIS. Right. We've been arming them. Or we them, train we train, train them, them, and then and they defend. armed them. The very people we're now claiming are our worst enemies. So it's really kind of kind of humorous in a way because we say, yeah, we're in there and we're going to try to overthrow Assad. But but by the way, ISIS is really bad too. Yeah. But we hadn't really been doing anything to them because they're we created them. So Putin says, oh well, let me help. Here, I'll send some troops too and help you fight ISIS. Yeah. No, he, now, what are we going to say? No, bad. don't do that because they're our people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? and, and that's actually what happened. Came out in the news and said, oh, they've, they've seemed to have taken out some of our moderate <laughs> rebels that we've trained and spent, what was it, $50 million, some ridiculous amount of money to train five fighters. <laughs> so ridiculous. So now I wanted to kind of well, talk about... they do, about... catch them all in the same bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> one, one missile and they're all gone. So I want to talk a little bit about... Wait, you know, wait, wait, before we get off of that. Yeah. 
this actually is, is kind of funny, it's kind of ironic, and it's kind of like, wait a minute, whose side are we on? What's going on here? But actually, we're talking about our tax money. Right. This is my money. This is your money. This is your money. Yeah. And they're frittering it away, creating false enemies that the Russians take advantage of and say, well, here, we'll come help you fight them. And then we're stuck because we can't say, well, no, don't do that. And wanting to raise the debt, uh, the debt ceiling and raise spending. And, and you're right. That's yeah. our tax money. That it, it is time for people to stop being so complacent about it. Um, well, Jim, I wanted to. And what do you do? A... Tell your friends and neighbors to tune in to InfoWars. <laughs> and I wanted come to, to give you a little time <laughs> to uh, talk about. Uh, what you're doing here in Texas, as well as visiting us here in the InfoWars studio, um, but you're actually going to be in Bastrop, Texas, talking about a secret space program. That's right. That's tomorrow and Sunday. In, uh, I think it's in the Bastrop Community Center, and it's the secret space program conference. Now, to a lot of people, that's going to seem really, really weird and really far out there. Hey, it's uh, Halloween weekend. <laughs> there you go. Hey, it is. It's Halloween, so just play like it's another trick, but it's not. Um, we have pretty much abandoned space. Um, we, there's, the space shuttle is no longer flying. Uh, you see, I'm old enough to remember before we went to the moon, the idea was we we're going to go to the moon and we we're going to set up colonies. Right. And we we're going to mine the resources and minerals mm -hmm. of the moon, and it was going to pay for the space program. Well, we went up there about six times and said, eh, nothing there. And uh, by the way, are you aware that uh, after the uh, last Apollo mission, we still had 22 of those Atlas rockets that put them up into space, ready to go for more space missions, they but shut it down. they just shut it down. And something's going on. Right. And there's two aspects of that. One has to do with extraterrestrials, mm -hmm. aliens, space aliens, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. I won't go there because that's really a weird issue, you know. The other thing, though, that also happened at the same time that shut down our official overt space program is because we had an unofficial covert space program. Absolutely. And you wouldn't even doubt that something like that is going on just because we have all of these covert ops, these secret agencies. You only get to see the surface of what's actually going on. Exactly. So you're going to get into the secret space program there. I guess people can find a, that information up on your website. Right. Uh, you, you can find that on my uh, site, jimmars.com, or you could go and just tap in uh, Secret Space Program Conference. And by the way, it's not just me. There's some other very, very uh, knowledgeable people. My friend Linda Moulton Howe will be there, and I think uh, uh, Stan Freeman uh, and other competent people who, yeah. who have been at this for a long time. Well, that'll be a really, really interesting to hear. My, my brother-in-law works for NASA, and of course, he's really upset about the fact that they've pretty much been frozen thanks to this current administration. We only got about 40 seconds left. What do you think about the live exorcism that's gonna be performed tonight on, on live television <laughs> in the exorcist house there in St. Louis? Oh, another dog and pony show. It <laughs> might be good entertainment, but uh, yeah. I, I, I would hesitate to think that we're actually gonna see the devil appear. <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be on live TV. They can't do anything with the cameras and stuff. Well, kind of um, like opening uh, Al Capone's <laughs> safe. You yeah. Know, they'll find there's no demon in there. Well, hopefully more. But happy Halloween anyway. Yes, exactly. Happy Halloween and be sure to pull out your greatest racist costume <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for the show tonight. We will see you here again Monday, 7 p.m. Central. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.